Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today is the start of my Mafia Romance Readathon vlog. So it is May 5th um, and it is the start of the readathon. Um, so I really wanted to vlog it. I don't normally post vlogs for my um, main channel for everyone to see, um, but I thought it would be fun because it is a readathon to do it. Um, I'm normally only post weekly reading vlogs for my channel members because I get a little bit more personal and more vulnerable. So if you want to watch more of my vlogs, um, you can join my channel membership. There's a join button on my homepage of my uh, YouTube channel. But anyways, the Mafia Romance Readathon. I'll link all the hosts down below. I love all of them. They're amazing people. I love them all. I know Jen is the one who kind of like put all of it together and um, I'm so happy for her and all the other hosts for doing this. So before I get up and about and eat breakfast and all that jazz and get ready for the day, I thought I would pick out my ebook that I'd be reading for this short amount of time. I know this readathon ends on Sunday, I want to say. And yeah, I gotta pick out books. I didn't put together a TBR because I haven't made a TBR for anything in months. Um, I'm not in the right headspace for it. So um, I thought I'd read the summaries of some of the eBooks that I have already on my Kindle. Two books that are on my immediate TBR that I downloaded off of KU is Broken Fighter by Maggie Cole. I have the physical copy over there. I just read better on um, like my iPad or computer than a physical book currently. And then I also have Ivan by Sophie Lark um, for when I'm done with my audiobook. I can start this one if I want to because um, my audiobook for this weekend is going to be, I think it's called Heavy Crown, the last book in the Brutal Birthright series. Yesterday I literally finished the fifth book in the series and so I was like, why not just start book number six immediately and complete the series? So that's going to be my audiobook, but I'm going to fly through it. Like I fly through audiobooks, so I don't know what to do with audiobooks now like for this readathon because I need to listen to a mafia romance but I don't have any more mafia romance to listen to because I have audible plus I have an audible subscription but I like saving my credits for like a need situation <laughs> I don't like purchasing audiobooks that aren't on credits and there's nothing on the audible plus catalog there's like one book that I'm not really interested in that's a mafia romance and then Libby is like the same thing. There's like one mafia romance that I'm interested in. It's on hold for like two weeks. So I don't think I'll be getting to that. So I don't know what to do when it comes to audiobooks. I need assistance. I don't know. Like I only like using my audible credits when I know I'm going to love a book or at least like it because I hate wasting my audiobook credits on mediocre books. Cause I feel like, man, that was a waste of a credit I could have used on something I love. I thought I would read some of the summaries for some of these books that I have on my Kindle. I'm not gonna read the summaries for the two KU books I talked about because like I already know what those are about. Um, but I do have like a shelf, like a collection on my Kindle app of all the Mafia romances that I have downloaded for free. Let's read some of these summaries. One that's sticking out to me, I'm only gonna read some of them or some of the covers are like sticking out to me. So one of them is The Bratva's Baby by Jane Henry. I think this is a Russian Mafia romance. Okay, so the summary is very short. It says, my orders are simple. Capture her, marry her, take her inheritance, get rid of her. The bookish little recluse is worth more than she knows. She's an unassuming librarian, I'm a begradler. Is that a word? Begadler? Begadler <laughs> of the Russian Bratva. She has no friends. I command a small army. She's a modest woman. And now she's mine. That one sounds good. It's only uh, 296 pages. I'm really struggling reading books over 200 pages right now. So like this might be my best bet if I want a short Mafia Romance because I feel like Mafia Romances aren't short. So that one's in priority because I do like that. The next summary I'm going to read is from um, Graveyard Girl, A Bad Boy Mafia Romance by Bryn Ann. I met the woman I love in a graveyard at 10.30 at night. She jammed a flaming cigar into my arm for littering her favorite place, the graveyard. I wrapped my hands around her tiny throat, expecting a man, an actual threat. But no, it was a woman, a tiny woman at that. One who spoke English, but cursed, hissed, and growled in Spanish. 
not a threat at all, or so I thought. We're not sociopaths, but we desperately wish we were. That's it. Okay. Um, I don't know about this one, just because I don't like the statement of, I was expecting a man, an actual threat. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. It's the shortest right now. It's 282 pages, but I don't want to like waste my time reading a book, even if it's short. That's not good. So I think the other one is still in the first slot right now. Also, by the way, I'm not doing like the prompts for the bingo board just because like I'm a big mood reader. And I'm just going to read what I want to read. And if prompts later on fill in the books that I read, by all means, I'll do that, but yeah. Next is Knockout by Sophie Austin. This one's only 131 pages, so if this summer is good, we might be picking this one up soon. She's my best friend's little sister. Oh, so I can't touch her, but nobody said anything about looking. Molly O'Brien is perfect. Sassy mouth with sultry lips. She can't fight me forever. That's what I do for a living. Kick other guys' butts. Take what's mine. MMA fighting is my way out of the family's mafia business, and I won't let anything stand in my way. But Molly's letting her guard down, and I'm not afraid of taking a risk. Her brother, my family, her hate of my sport. This is about to get really interesting. Good thing I like a challenge. Knockout is a fast-paced, steamy romance that will have you cheering and sometimes cursing from the sidelines. Buckle up for a big-hearted alpha athlete slash MMA fighter and unforgettable chemistry and an inside look at Boston's sexiest mafia family. So this looks like the Irish mafia. So I'm interested in this. So I might be picking this one up today. The next summer I'm going to be reading is Rapture and Ruin and Enemies to Lovers, mafia romance. He'll do anything to make my father pay, including kidnapping me to exact his revenge. Max Ferreira is a ruthless mafia prince, a monster out of my worst nightmares but it's not his scarred face that makes him my beast. My father, the mayor, sent most of his family to prison. I'm the key for his revenge, but my innocence sparks his obsession. The chemistry we share is undeniable and I can't help being drawn to the damaged criminal who watches me from the shadows. His pain calls something t deep inside me and I'm quickly becoming addicted to his dangerous presence in my life. When other bad men threaten me, my possessive stalker proves out to be my dark protector. With every stolen kiss, I fall harder for the man who should be my most fearsome enemy. If our families discover our relationship, we'll both suffer painful consequences. Our love could be our ruin. That sounds really good. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, that sounds really good. This is like 316 pages though, so... It has a good rating on Amazon. So this is what we're gonna do. I have three books that I'm interested in, that I wanna read, that aren't my KU books, okay? We have number one, Rapture and Ruin by Julia Sykes. This one looks really good. Next is Knockout by Sophie Austin. This one also sounds good. And lastly, The Bratfa's Baby by Jane Henry. Those are three books that I'm really interested in that are on my, um, Kindle library. I'll make like a graphic here of books that I am going to be prioritizing this week. The top three are my KU books and the audiobook, and then the other three are the Kindle books that I already have on my library. So this is what we're working with and I'm excited. <laughs> I don't know which book that I'm gonna pick first. We're gonna see later. I'm currently going to go make something to eat and then um, either watch some booktube or watch Castle because I'm rewatching Castle on Hulu. I love Castle, so that's what we're gonna go do. Hi guys, it's day two. Yes, I'm wearing scrubs. Um, I went to the hospital or had to go to the hospital due to my chronic illness. These are amazing pajamas. They gave me a set of scrubs because like I don't like their gowns and they gave it to me um, when I was getting my MRI done. The MRI was traumatic. I hated it. 10 out of 10 do not recommend. Um, so I got a free pair of scrubs that are very big on me, but they're really comfy for like chilling around the house. <laughs> and then I also got my new cup. This is the hospital cup and it's my favorite thing ever. It's just so nice. I love it. I carry it with me all over the house. <laughs> okay, so this is what we're doing today. And today, two of the readathon, we are going to be 
crimping my hair. I haven't crimped my hair in months. Um, I only do it every now and then because that is a lot of heat on your hair. Um, so, <laughs> but I love the way that it looks. I think my hair looks so pretty when it's crimped. So that's what we're gonna do. It takes a lot of time though to curl my hair, crimp my hair, because I have a lot of hair. Like it is all, like my ponytail's like this thick. Like it's a lot of hair and it's really long. Um, so yeah, it takes over an hour for me to do my hair if it's curling or crimping it. For straightening, it's really fast because I naturally stick straight hair and I could do it pretty fast. Yeah, right now it's not stick straight because I sleep in a braid because I have so much hair, so. Um, oh yeah, okay, day two of the readathon, we're gonna talk about mafia romance books. I am about, no, I'm over 50% of the way through Heavy Crown by Sophie Lark. I have like maybe two and a half hours left of the audiobook. And so I might finish it today, we'll see. I feel like I'm putting it off though, because last night I stopped listening to it at a certain point because one of the characters is keeping a big secret and um, the dam's gonna break, like the secret's gonna be revealed. And I honestly hate that. I hate when one of the characters is keeping secrets from the other and like the secret gets revealed and you know they're gonna break up but there's gonna be a fight or one person's gonna claim they despise the other person. And I'm just like, I don't wanna read about that. I want everyone to be happy. <laughs> so I'm kind of like putting it off, but I am really enjoying it so far. I like Yelena as a heroine. Don't like her father, obviously. He's the Russian mafia boss um, and he sucks. So does his like right hand henchman. He has his cun tuck. I can't speak. Whoa. He has his tongue cut out and can't speak. And like he's constantly staring at Yelena and lusting after her. And she can like tell. And she's like disgusted. And he won't leave her alone. I just hate her father. Her father sucks. And like he agreed to do something, which is totally out of character for him. And is being like nice to Yelena. And I'm like, you're gonna like spill the beans and make Sebastian hate her. I guarantee it and I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> oh my goodness, I forgot to take my medicine. Let's do that. <laughs> take the mini pills I have to take. That's why I put them in the bathroom because I, I have a chair in the bathroom now because um I can't stand for long periods of time. And so I just sit here sometimes and I wash my face and brush my teeth and maybe even chat with y'all and I. <laughs> forget to take my meds and I have to take them after I eat. So I ate like an hour ago, so it should be fine. And I get to use my favorite cup. One of my pills is literally like that big that I have to take every day. Like I get people's aversion to pills, but I just take, I'd rather take pills any day to anything liquid, like a liquid medicine. <laughs> No, thank you. I have been severely scarred as a child from cough syrup. Like cough syrup is literally the worst, worst thing you could ever put into your mouth. I hate it with a fiery passion. Like one of the main reasons why I hate getting sick is not just cause, oh, I hate being sick. It's cause of that freaking cough syrup. That's also why I don't like alcohol, fun fact. Even though I'm 23, I don't drink alcohol because alcohol to me tastes like cough syrup. So, <laughs> also for my other book, I decided to pick up Rapture and Ruin by Julia Sykes. I think that's her name. Wow, I'm really liking this. None of my friends on Goodreads have like heard of it or have like added it to any of their shelves. So I'm like surprised that no one else has read this other than me um so far because i'm liking it this is about max and ally so at this the beginning of this book max is kidnapping ally because he is a part of the italian mafia if i want to say and um she's the daughter of the mayor and he thinks that the mayor had something to do with the bratva like the russian mafia retaliate like going against the italian mafia like the mayor and the Russian mafia work together to take down Max and his family. And so he kidnaps Ali, who's the mayor's daughter, to be like, I need you to tell me everything you know about the Russian mafia and your father's ties to it. And she's like, 
I literally know nothing. I have no idea what you're talking about. Um, and so he realizes while he's kidnapping her, interrogating her, oh, she doesn't know anything. <laughs> and so he lets her go. And he's like, but if you tell anyone, I'm coming after your dad. And so yeah, the two of them keep bumping into each other and he like kind of is stalking her a little bit at the beginning of this. And he is a scarred hero. He was burned in a fire. And so some of his face is burned and like he's lusting after this woman but he thinks that she never won him because of how he looks and everything and so um yeah so far i'm really liking it i am like 45 percent of the way through and like i was like flat the beginning had me hooked like when he kidnaps her and everything i was very hooked <laughs> so um for my hair i'm gonna be putting on sorry i have so much hair um the kendra thermal styling spray um, this stuff makes my hair stay in whatever style I have it in for days. Um, my hairdresser introduced this to me. She uses it on my hair when she does my hair like two times every year. <laughs> um, I'm actually seeing her in like 10 days, which I'm so excited for. Because um, I haven't had my hair done, um, like colored and cut probably since like October of last year something like that or close to the semester beginning of semester like August of 2021 so um it's been a little bit um and I was due for a color because my roots are so bad right now um so um anyway I'm going to go do my hair I've been chatting with you for a while but um I'm enjoying both of those books I'm going to be filming some videos today so um while I'm doing my hair I'm going to be listening to Heavy Crown, which I'm really nervous about listening to because of what I talked about. <laughs> um, and then I plan on filming hopefully two videos if I'm feeling well. I always am now in this mindset of like, I want to film like five videos a day in bulk film. But sometimes my body is just like, no, you're not. Um, because no one like tells people this, that like filming can exhaust you or like at least it does for me. Um, I don't know if it has something to do with my chronic illness or just me as a person, but like filming exhausts me, honestly. Um, so I'm going to be gracious and gentle with myself and, um, just pace myself. Um, which is really hard for me right now because like I'm a go, go, go kind of person when it comes to like tasks I need to complete and I have to go really slow in everything that I do now. Literally, I can't just sit up and get out of bed and go to the bathroom. I have to sit up in bed, wait a minute, let my heart rate calm down, go to the edge of the bed, hang my feet off the edge of the bed, let my heart calm down, and then stand up, let my heart calm down, and then walk to the toilet. Like, that's my way of moving now. And it kind of, like, stinks because you have to, like, change your mindset about everything, so yeah but this is essentially what i'm gonna be doing this is me crimping my hair done and i have a lot to do and so what i'll do is i'll do these two sides and then do a finish of this and then clip this back and let down another layer because i got so much hair <laughs> anyway um i'm gonna go listen to my book that I'm anxious about listening to. Hi guys, so I'm about to start filming. It's a little bit lighter. We have refilled the infamous cup and this is how it turned out. I decided to do some braids on the other side just cause my framing bangs or framing like framing, dang, still can't speak. Uh, framing layers are just like in need of a major cut. <laughs> so, I decided to just put in some braids here. I think it looks really cute. And if I decide to change my outfit or whatever, I'm going to take out the braids and do like one of those scrunchy half up do's or something like that. But um, who knows if I'll get to, to that point. I am about to film my ebook haul for April. So after I finished that last clip, I read more of Heavy Crown. Oh my gosh, sorry the dog is crying. My other dog is going on a walk and he is upset <laughs> um so shh, baby it's okay <laughs> um so i listened to more of heavy crown by sophie lark and literally right after i finished 
talking to you guys. Um, I read the next chapter and I was shocked with what happened. Literally, I'm doing my hair and I'm like this in the mirror listening <laughs> to it because I did not expect that to happen at all. Like that chapter was insane. Um, We're gonna see how the rest of this book goes because someone finally found out what the secret was that I was talking about. So everything's going to be different now. Um, So anyway, I wanted to also show you what I did yesterday when I was listening to Heavy Crown is I was making this notebook, okay? This is my author backlist notebook that I'm going to be utilizing. Yes, I know she's, she's, she's gone. She'll be back. Don't worry. It's okay. So I only have a few authors in here right now. I definitely want more, but this is just what I was able to do. So, um, basically it's a, each page has a name of one of my favorite authors, as you can see, and the books that I have not read yet by them because I want to read all of my favorite authors backlists. So that's what this is. These are all of Ruby Dixon's books that I have not read yet. And then it also says like what, uh, like this one is Rukar's story. It's IPB number 13.1. And then I wrote where I can find it. Um, I try and find everything for the least amount of price. So if I don't have to purchase it, if it's like through KU or through my library or on the author's website, like, I'm gonna use those options instead of spending money, you know? Um, so yeah, this one's on Ruby Dixon's website. And also I put their page number too, cause sometimes when I wanna pick up a book, it depends on the page number. Cause like sometimes I'm into a really short book or a long book. So I did the same thing with like Talia Hibbert. Like I, I realized through this, like I have almost completed some of my favorite authors, like all of their backlist. Like for example, I only have like, uh, six more books to read of um, Grace Draven, and then I'm done, um, except for like three of them or four, four books. Like some I realized because I go through Goodreads, I look at their Goodreads pages and see what books are there that I haven't read yet. And some of them, like these books don't exist anymore. And I'm like, how am I supposed to read them? I want to read all these, like all of the books these authors have ever written, but some of their books are not in print anymore. So I'm like, where do I find it? But uh, same thing with like Chloe Lee's, like four of her books that I haven't read, like that one series she wrote before the Bergman Brothers, like it's not in print anymore. Like, well, where am I supposed to read it? Um, we have Brittany C. Cherry, um, Sophie Lark, all of these, all of them are on KU. So um, I have Tessa Dare, um, Carbass Stone, I am almost done. I have three books left and then I'm done with her backlist. Same thing with Lila Faye, I only have two. Katie Robert, you wanna know how many Katie Robert has? Katie Robert has written a lot of books. She, like me writing all these books took up the majority of my night last night. Cause holy crap Ola, there's a lot of books here. Yeah, and if I can't find it on any platform, cause first I'll go looking if it's in KU, I'll write it there. If it's in Libby, I'll like check those two first. If I can't find them, I go and look on their website or I like Google it to see if like someone like writes on like a Reddit subreddit or like something where I can purchase it. Cause sometimes it like shows on shows up on Amazon with one link and then it doesn't on another link. Like it's weird. So I'm really liking this. I'm gonna be utilizing this and yeah, hopefully, um, I can read all my favorite authors backlist. I've only gone up to Katie Robert. There are more authors that I need to put on that list. I know I need to put Colleen Hoover on there and um, a few others. So um, that's what I did last night while reading Heavy Crown. I'm nervous about the rest of this book because I have no idea what's gonna happen. And um, yeah, it's gonna end in the HEA because it's a romance book, but like I'm nervous because something just happened that like broke my heart and I'm really sad about it. Anyway, um, I'm gonna film now, so that's that's what I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go do. <laughs> Hi guys, it's the next day. Um, if you hear dogs running around, they're just running around. I can't do nothing about it. <laughs> and so you'll hear the click clack of their feet <laughs> on the tile. Um, so I finished Heavy Crown by Sophie Lark last night. I'm giving it four stars. I really enjoyed this. Um, it's not my favorite in the series. I think there are better books in the series. 
Um, but I thoroughly enjoyed this and it makes me even more excited to read Kingmakers. Like I wish I could go read The Air right now, but um, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna read her other series. I don't even know the title of that series, but Ivan is the first one. Like I'm gonna read that series first because I like reading things in order and that'll be better for my brain and everything. But I know now, like, cause at the end of um, Heavy Crown, um, it like talks about everyone's, a few people's kids. And um, it talks about the three kids of these people in the Brutal Birthright series that are going to be in the first book, The Air. I know the characters names cause I've heard so many of my friends talk about it. So Leo is the son to the couple from Heavy Crown. Um, which is Yelena and um, Sebastian. And then Anna, his best friend, is Nessa and uh, Nico's kid. They were like talking about Dean. And like, I, I know that Dean has like a bully romance book. And so um, they were like, oh, Dean is, I don't know if I should even say because I don't want to spoil it, but Dean is the son to somebody from this book. And I was like, okay, that makes so much sense now. Why? Like I kept hearing about Dean and Leo not getting along at all. I understand now. I understand after reading this book. So I'm glad I read this series first because like it, it makes so much more sense now. I am like 65% of the way through Rapture and Ruin and I'm kind of enjoying it so far. I feel like it's really slow, like not a lot is going on. All you have is this guy stalking this girl and um, them chatting every once in a while and um, her trying to figure out what's going on with her dad and him and everything. And like, there's no action really. And I'm more of a character driven reader instead of a plot driven reader. But this is just a little boring to me for how long it is. Um, like I would like more action, especially in a mafia romance book. So. Uh, we'll see how that goes. I only have around like a hundred something pages left. And then after that, I plan on reading Ivan by Sophie Lark. Um, we have today and then tomorrow and then the readathon's done. So um, I also want to unbox something because I have a big package here. Um, and I want to show you what I got for my mom for Mother's Day. So tomorrow is Mother's Day. I don't know if you'll see a lot of me in the vlog tomorrow just because it's Mother's Day, you know, and I want to spend it with my mama. So, um, I wanted to show you what I got her. If you don't know, I'm not allowed to drive anymore due to my chronic illness. So she is the person that basically drives me everywhere. And so I can't go anywhere without her knowing because I'm not allowed to drive. Um, and we live kind of like in the bum country of Texas. So like, I don't, I don't even know if there would be Ubers out here. I haven't even checked, but I don't wanna spend that kind of money. So um, I order like all of her gifts since January, her and my dad, like gifts um, on Amazon. So yeah, um, first is a book that she's wanted. This is a book from one of her favorite um, Instagrammers. Oh, it's a little damaged, fooey. You probably can't even see it, but like the spine is bent a little. I'm like damaged a little. Oh well, she won't care. Um, but this is one of her favorite uh, Instagrammers. This is their book. And so I saw her, I heard her talking about it the other day how much she wanted it. And so I got it for her off of Amazon. She is a big gardener. So that's a lot of what these gifts are centered around. Um, she spends all of her free time in her garden. She, we have a big garden. She gets complimented on it all the time because it's beautiful. So. Um, and if you like go look at my Instagram, like the beginning of my Instagram journey, my bookstagram, like a lot of my pictures were taken outside in her garden because it was beautiful and I had that space. So um, yeah. And then the next thing is the probably the biggest part. Um, I got her some of her favorite snacks. She loves these like, is it freeze dried? It's not freeze dried. It's like these dried apple crisps with cinnamon. And so I got her like a pack of eight because they're her favorite. And she's been complaining and saying how she doesn't have any snacks. So there you go. Um, and then I also got her these packets for her seeds. Basically, um, you can kind of like see it on the back. There's like an opening and you can like write and like tape stuff on the front. And these are like little seed packets. It's like a pack of 100. Um, she wanted me to like make some handmade for her, but that's a lot of time and effort. So. Well, she told me, she asked me to do that like months ago, um, but yeah. And then this is for me. I was at my face wash. And this is the only thing that works on my skin. I used to have horrible acne. And like, I guess you just find the one thing that works for you because this 
works for me. Um, and then the last thing that I got her was this shirt that I think is so cute. Ready? It says, plant these, save the bees. It's so cute and comfy and cozy and I know she's gonna like it, so. Um, yep. It has like also all the like, if you can see kind of like on the side, like it has names of the plant that goes with it and she's gonna love that. It actually smells pretty nice for it being a new shirt. Normally when like I buy new clothes, I have to immediately wash it because I am very picky when it comes to textures and smells on my body. Um, like I will literally gag. So <laughs> like also whenever I went to one of my uh, new doctors and I told them about like my food aversions and everything, they're like, oh, this is common in um, people who are neurodivergent. And I was like, okay <laughs> nothing's wrong with that it's just i've always had an inkling that i could be neurodivergent and so like i don't know what to think like i always thought it could be and like my mom was like would you ever want to get tested for it i was like i don't know i don't know i don't think i would just because like i don't need to it's a whole like i was telling her like i'd much rather be tested for my multiple disabilities and chronic illnesses than being neurodivergent because like I'm me, that's me. I don't need to be tested for it. Um, but maybe I told her, who knows, maybe later down the line, if I am curious about it and want to, I could be tested for it. I know I told her, I was like, it's very hard. Um, it's harder for women to get diagnosed than men in that department. So I was like, that was gonna be a long journey possibly. And um, I am not in the right headspace because of all the other medical crap that's going on in my life. So um, anyway, this is what is going on. I'm probably going to wrap them uh, when I'm done talking to you because um, my mom is at home. So I'm gonna get, get this done while I can. <laughs> so that's about it for this update. Um, I'm gonna update you probably later when I have something to talk about, possibly when I finish Rapture and Ruin. But right now I think I'm gonna film cause like I kind of like feel good right now, you know? I might film like a short little video about the books on my immediate TBR, which are all of these on the top shelf. Like this is my TBR shelf and all the ones on top are the ones that I wanna read the most. And so I might make a video about that. Hi guys, it's a bathroom <laughs> update. <laughs> um, because it is the last day of the readathon and I have not updated you at all today. So um, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I feel a migraine coming on. So I'm gonna go lay in bed um, and watch a comfort show and might put an eye mask over my eyes while doing it. Um, I had some sugar today, which I've not had in a while um because today's mother's day and i thought i'd make my mom some cookies and so i had one cookie and i have a little bit of a headache that's starting to form into a migraine i think um so i um i'm gonna go prepare for that pain um hopefully it doesn't turn into one but my head is very achy right now and i've had many many a migraine and i i kind of know how they will start i can barely form sentences right now whoa what was i talking about <laughs> um i don't know if i mentioned that i finished rapture and ruin if i didn't i did finish it give it 3.5 out of 5 stars my head hurts too bad to like give you all a review i think like my main issue was like i was kind of bored by it um and so that review is um sorry my hair is being ridiculous too my that review is on my goodreads um Sorry for this last clip. I just don't feel 100% right now. Um, and then I also started and finished Ivan by Sophie Lark today, the first book in her other, I think it's her Underworld, is that what it's called? Her, her other series. Um, and I liked it. I think I'm gonna give it four stars. Um, it's about this woman named, I don't even remember her name. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, this woman, she's from America and she's been tasked to, um, she's like an assassin so she's been tasked to assassinate ivan who's a bratva boss um but then he is not killed like he finds her like he catches her before she kills him um and then he kind of like interrogates her and like keeps her prisoner and yeah um i liked this i'm giving it four stars if you want more of my review i'm gonna write my review tomorrow probably when i feel better 
when my head is not pounding. Um, so I'll leave that for tomorrow. I'm so sorry if the end of this was rushed, but that's what life is like with a chronic illness. Um, so I've kind of learned my lesson today about sugar, like artificial sugars. So um, yeah, I really enjoy my time um, doing, doing this readathon. I read three mafia romances in four days, which is amazing. I want to thank all the hosts for putting this on. I'm linking them all down below. I'm going to go get ready for bed. And then tomorrow is the start of the historical romance readathon. And so that one will be going on for a week. And that's like a good thing. Cause like I'm in a total historical romance mood right now. So I'm very excited. And, um, yeah, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all. Thank you.